Hello, boys and girls, my name is HoxST and welcome back to Factorio. Uh, last time we have seen our three rocket silo space science productions are ramping up. So we extended the, the research lab so we can consume more. And now we are back where the research is constrained by the amount of space science we can produce. So that means today we will plop down another uh, of these bad boys and we will do it here. And I should have most of the, of the materials at least belt wise and uh, maybe not uh, beacons and uh, modules uh, but that's probably the, the easier part to get sorted so let me put this factory together uh, and uh, then we will have to let this run a bit um, also uh, with respect to uh, to uh, getting all the the materials in, uh, because if they have to to snake through um, the the whole area, the whole belt around, it's quite a while until they reach the the last of. Um, of these factories and of course uh, the factories the assemblers uh, that come first will try to grab as much resources as they can get so the the latter ones they will probably be lacking a bit behind and uh, we have to see how we can manage to get that sorted um, as quickly as possible. Another rocket silo is up and we are starting to produce things but of course certain aspects they are snagged away uh, for satellite production so it will take uh, a bit until uh, we see the first rocket parts being created here. Overall, if we look at our base, it comes together and we should consider that we do have enough resources on our hand um, to fuel our uh, uh, hungry factory. So uh, on the copper side, we have three patches down here that still have quite a bit uh, copper in it and we also have here stations that could load something. For iron we have two here uh, which also has a free slot um, but then we also have this one which is basically running dry. We have this one there is also not too much left in here. Here we have an almost dry copper ore patch and this one here. So I think I should uh, consider hooking up at least one more iron and I'm eyeing this one. Here we need a bit of landfill but then we can hook that up quite nicely and then we have to look further and we have one here and one there. I think this one is, is the closer one and when it comes to copper we have another one here, one there and then here on this side we have more, nothing here in, in this region. So. I think I will at least hook uh, this one up and 
when that's done we hopefully should see that this factory produces rockets and space science there are now two more iron fields the one up here and then one back there and we did have a bit of uh, of an issue we did not research for the longest time and the reason was lack of input materials but i think it was not due to uh, not enough stations that could provide uh, the material because here for uh, for copper we see there are a few for uh, petroleum we have them uh, for coal we have it uh, and even for uh, for iron we have it but if you have enough station supplying the material you also have to have the trains to move things around so every time we add a station we also should consider adding a train and the way my ratio goes is have about half as many trains as we have delivery stations that seems to work out uh, rather uh, conveniently because we also don't want to have too many trains because then they are tending to sit at the at the station's waiting bay and if then the station uh, uh, drops below uh, the, the minimum amount of materials um, the train tries to go somewhere else so it's a fine balance between having enough trains having not enough trains and having trains that are just traveling and of course traveling uh, they do quite a lot because there is quite a bit of distance between the the fields and the uh, the uh, actual places where we need them if we look at our pollution cloud up here not so much uh, seems uh, we are not mining that much crude oil but here this area we are extending and uh, i have not looked beyond that reach there is also a corner that we are encroaching and there uh, i got rid of the the closest few um, nests uh, and so far we have seen the occasional uh, biter attack uh, not big groups but i think if this takes off uh, we will see quite a few biters from from down here um, with regard to power uh, we seem okay for the moment but i think uh, before we can add any more we should uh, add another uh, power plant um, and we should figure out a blueprint uh, that is kind of uh, of optimized uh, because taking this here uh, into into consideration uh, or copying it uh, will also copy that part which is actually not what what we want so maybe let's uh, create a, a clean blueprint uh, and then we can add more uh, power plants uh, of course uh, before i do that I probably should also uh, set up the production of the materials that we need for that.
this iron field is almost done in and if we uh, look at uh, one miner we can see the productivity is faster than the mining meaning we do have 130 uh, percent productivity on here which means for every ore mined we get more than one ore for free um, looking at our science setup um, we can see that we are steadily uh, around 280 uh, research um, and um, we could kick this up with uh, with the uh, uh, space science there we are at 230 um, so we need more space science and the question here is really how many uh, rocket silos for space science do we need to put down before we need to scale up any of the other science packs because if we look at here uh, where we have basically all the science packs uh, collected here you can see only the space science is uh, below um, uh, 57,000. Uh, all other signs are here fully packed. Um, actually, we have a train unloading, making sure all six chests are stuffed full. Uh, that's not a case for space signs. Uh, because we are not producing fast enough but we have uh, another um, reactor so power should be okay and I uh, put this a bit further out into the sea so I can make a nice blueprint of, of this one uh, but uh, it's all laid out so that I can add one here and there uh, so that should not be a problem uh, expanding this this further um, while we will add another um, space science factory park um, soon we also have to consider where are we at uh, with our resources and I noticed that especially for copper we do have a few copper fields hooked up that have considerable amount left in them but we do not have that many stations that are actually white most of the time for iron this is a bit different we have them here but then also back there so iron ore we have we have plenty that we can fetch and the thing is even if we have stations like these here uh, they are just waiting for for the ore to come in um, and it's it's just not not fast enough so i think we'll hook uh, more uh, copper into our system and then plop down another space factory and another rocket silo no rockets yet but we are delivering all the materials that we need to build one and if we look at the map this one is here to the north of our base and that brings the total of uh, of space science factories up to five so where did that go?
There. So, we also added a new copper patch up here. And already before the last segment, we uh, added the, the power set up there. Uh, so, power wise, we are okay. And we can still add a bit more before we have to worry about power again. When we look at uh, our research, we see that we are dipping again. And that's not good. Um, and we are dipping because we have run out of space science. So we added a lot of factories to push out space science, but if we look around these factories, we can see there are stations that are white, meaning there is a need for material, but no train as of yet coming. Uh, ideally, uh, we would like to see all stations red, which means uh, there is enough material uh, and no further train needed. Unfortunately, as it is, it's mostly the, uh, the stations for copper and iron. And if we have a look here, the, the loading station for copper are occupied there we would have or we had one empty slot there we have an empty slot so maybe for copper it's just adding more trains however for iron this station here is is fully occupied then this one is this one is now as well and then we have one station back here that has an empty slot so maybe we, we, we need another iron field and probably a few more trains because all the iron fields are further out so we have to compensate the travel time that the, the trains are doing um, with more trains delivering uh, the goods. And I think the next iron patch that we can hook up, we have one up here and we have one down here. Maybe this one is close, although there is a bit of water in the way. So we need a bit of, of landfill to, to fill that in. But then we can hook this one to this line here and hopefully have a bit more iron going. And I'm thinking... Um, laying down rails in this uh, this pattern that's all quite quite nice uh, because we have the blueprints for it so we can just slap them down and uh, then let the robots build it however here on the outside where we have long stretches of of nothing um, it's a bit more tedious and there is a mod that I will add for next time that allows building a special train, basically a robot train that does the, the track laying and we can have track and signal and uh, uh, power poles in the cargo wagon uh, so we really can uh, build long rail lines but this will do for today hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time when we will hook 
even more things up to our factory to really pump out uh, the science packs. Goodbye!